Hi all. Today we'll discuss technology used in Netflix or used by Netflix. So while we are creating a Netflix application, or if you are uh, using Netflix application either mobile or web, so what all are the technology they are using to develop a Netflix application? So there are multiple parts are there while uh, using Netflix applications. Internally, they worked on front end, back end. Streaming data, big data, CI/CDs, and all. So, if you develop or if you are trying to develop the same as Netflix-based applications, either mobile-based or web-based applications, so we need a front end. So, front end will interact with the API. So, there are will be multiple API which need to be communicate from one service to another services and all. In that cases, we have a GraphQL. So, there we are using GraphQL. As a API communications and connections, and then mobile app. Suppose if you are working or using uh, Netflix as a mobile, so in that mobile we have to develop either iOS, Swift, Android, or Kotlin base. So these all are the operating systems. Based on that, we need to develop a code. So in that we can use uh, any of the technology, either Java or any other. The technology, but uh, the changes uh, if Android using then ja, we have a Java codes will be there, iOS is there, Swift is there, and Kotlin. So this is the mobile app front end we will use. Back end if you are going for this uh, web based applications, uh, sorry front end if you are going for the web based applications to handle, then in that we have a JavaScript library and React library will be there. So these all are the front end technology which we used in Netflix. Coming for this backend, so in backend we have a multiple services will be there. So the service will have a backend as a Java. So Java use a Spring Boot, Netflix Joul, and Netflix Eureka. So we have a Spring Cloud configuration server. So a Spring Cloud config server uh, or a Spring Cloud uh, technology. So in that technology we use Joul, uh, Eureka, API gateways and all. So these things we are using. So that is part of Netflix only. And then the backend we have a database. So what all are the database? Caches, database, Redis, Cassandra, and then MySQL and all we will connect for the backend database. And some of the streaming uh, data which we need for this real time streaming processing data. For that purpose, we will use Kafka and Flink. So this is from backend database. Coming for this streaming, so while we will go for the streaming, then in that we have a either we have a two type of streaming, video streaming and transcoder streaming. So video streaming, we have a Netflix Open Connect will be there. Amazon, uh, Amazon, uh, some services which will be provided for this video streaming, and then S3 bucket which need to be the storage required. And for transcoding our coders, transcoders we have a Elastic transcoders will be there through that. Uh, we will uh, generate uh, all the transcoders streaming data. Now we have uh, some large amount of data which will be stories in the Netflix. So like multiples movies, series and all. So for that purpose we have a uh, data storage and data processing. So how we will store the data and where we have to process the data. So the data storage we, we use uh, Amazon S3 bucket and then Amazon Redshift and others uh, some services we will use. But for the processing, we use Flink and Spark. So tabular form and Spark we can use where we can process the all the big amount of data which is in storage in the big data, we can see. And then uh, while we develop the front end, back end and all this big data con streaming concepts and all, then there will be some DevOps teams which need to be come here and then they will do some CI, CD. So continuous integration, continuous deploy will sit there. So in that cases, they we use uh, Jira, Atlassian, and then uh, for the all the tools uh, related tickets, and then Jenkins we have a CI/CD continuous integration, continuous deployment, and then we have a confluence where all this uh, details and you know, informations will be provided, and we have a Gradles uh, for the building the or building the projects, uh, creating the jar and word or any live like this so we have a multiple dev tools which will, will, will be required pager duties uh, duties and all uh, is required so if you are creating a netflix based applications here we have a front end back end streaming big data and cicd devops pipeline 
so these things uh, if you will go for the code base so there they are using this all yeah thank you if you want to take a reference just take the reference for this image where we we got this from the linkedin and this thing i think this is a very good uh, point here for the netflix development architectures and all yeah thank you